So why is the Biden administration selling American oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to China? Joining us now, Senator Tommy Tuberville of the great state of Alabama. Senator <clears throat> Tuberville, thank you, sir. Do we really have to sell China six million barrels of oil from our Strategic Petroleum Reserve? Is that really necessary, sir? Well, that's another attack of the Biden administration on American energy, Larry. And, you know, the Americans, people are sitting back and and watching President Biden cozy up to the crooks and criminals uh, across, the, across the world and trying to buy their oil. But, you know, the, our oil reserves, the 7 million barrels that's going to China, you know, if we had a, a media, a mainstream media that was more interested in finding out really what's going on, we could get to the bottom of this. But, you know, Hunter Biden's going to probably be involved. Uh, we don't know for sure, but eventually it'll come out. But the American people are paying these high prices and we're shipping oil to China. It makes no sense. And uh, I think people are going to get tired of it and get tired of it pretty quick, paying $4, $4.50, $5 a gallon for gas. You know, sir, it's, it, you mentioned Hunter Biden. Uh, all right, so there's a lot going on about Hunter Biden and decisions from the federal investigation in Delaware. But this, you know, China's uh, American trading arm, Unipec, which is owned by their nationalized Chinese firm, Sinopec, Hunter Biden did business with both. I mean, that just makes me suspicious. I don't have any facts here. Uh, I know there were sales to China. I know the sales were through Unipec and Sinopec. Um, Biden's experience with them, I don't know exactly, but doesn't it make it suspicious to you Oh, it's very suspicious. And, and as you said earlier, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah. Uh, it, will it will come out. It'll eventually come out. But it, again, it's, it's happening at a time when uh, people in my state of Alabama are really suffering. I mean, they're paying the high prices for fuel and to use our, our oil reserves, a uh, million barrels a day. And eventually we're going to run out and we, we're going to hopefully not need them, but uh, we don't need to be using it to bring down uh, gas five, five cents, 10 cents a gallon. It makes no sense. It, it's, uh, it doesn't make any factor uh, in terms of, of a difference uh, when it's $4, $4.50 a gallon. So uh, it'll all come out in the wash, uh, and hopefully it will sooner than later. But right now, we've, we've got to worry about this inflation. There. The high prices are absolutely killing the people across the country and the regulations. So you're leading a push for American energy independence, okay? And you want to go, and I think this is so important, I th you want to focus again on the nuclear power side, which is obviously the cleanest and most renewable. Can you tell us about that, sir? Yeah, well, we, we get 20% of our energy from nuclear as we speak across the country. But in 1950s and 60s, Larry, we came up with a, a process uh, to build a reactor and to fuel this reactor with what we call thorium uh, uranium-233. Now, we have thorium all over this country. Uh, we can mine it ourselves. We can make uranium-233, uh, but it was invented while we were trying to invent the, uh, the atomic bomb. Uh, they found out that uranium-233 does not explode. Uh, it's, it's safe. It, it's not like uh, uranium-235. Uh, but they come out with a process of fueling these uh, small reactors that are very inexpensive. They're safe. Uh, they're clean. And uh, we had all this technology. Uh, we just dumped it. And, uh, Back in 2010, President uh, Obama gave all of this technology to China. Uh, oh. He might have done it for the right reason. He oh. did it for the right reasons, I guess, because uh, they had so many coal-fired coal plants, they said, maybe they can use this. Well, they took it and ran with it, and now they're starting to build their own uranium-233 salt uh, reactors. And uh, they'll probably end up using it on their Belt and Road Initiative. And when they do that, they're going to be way ahead of us. But we need to be using this technology as we speak. They're clean. They're effective. It takes very uh, about half the time to build. Uh, and again, if we're looking for clean energy, we better have a plan. Right now, the Biden administration does not have a plan uh, past oil and gas other than wind and solar. And we all know that's not going to work. Uh, you might get 5 percent. But uh, we've got to find ways to to uh, help out with oil and gas, uh, we will eventually go back to fossil fuels. You know that. I know that. We can't do without it. You can't run our economy, the economy that we have without it. So eventually we'll go back to it. But why not get into the salt uh, thorium uh, reactors? And we're trying to pull this out of the mothballs, trying to get people to listen. And in the NDAA this year, I got a study 
uh, funded by, uh, to the Department of Defense to look into this, and hopefully it'll be it'll kickstart uh, the process of getting back to uranium-233. Senator, last 30 seconds. Does the Green New Deal, you know, climate activism from the Bidens, include these smaller nuclear installations? No. No, they, you know, they haven't even thought about it. It's there. It's been there for years, Larry, but, but uh, they have no imagination. Uh, there was no game plan other than, hey, just we're going to get rid of oil and gas. Uh, no matter what we have to do, we're going to EV cars. Found out yesterday from a CEO of a, a car company that we can't only build combustion engines in the country now. They're all made in, in Mexico because they want us to make these EV engines mm -hmm. in cars and just and clear combustion engines completely out of this country and send the manufacturing to Mexico. Mexico. Uh, that's their plan. Uh, you know that, and I know that. And hopefully, we can uh, we can stir it all up. And uh, and as you said, wait till the cavalry arrives. Yeah, cavalry's coming. I mean, you know, their hostility to nuclear stuff shows you how phony this whole Green New Deal renewable stuff really is. I mean, that's a, that's a, they just that's don't a word, Larry. You know, it's just so phony and fraudulent. Anyway, Senator Tommy Tuberville, right. as always, sir. Thanks very much for coming.